Hey friends, how's it going? I hope this video finds you well. Um, I am very excited about the song we're doing today, the canoe song. <clears throat> if you have a percussion instrument at home that you would like to use for this lesson, if you have anything that you'd like to uh, keep a beat with, go ahead and get it. Um, and I hope you had a chance to pull up the music or even to print it out. Um, just to have it in front of you because we're going to be talking about the rhythm a little bit later and I'd like you to see what we're discussing. Um, all right, but it's a very simple song. I'm going to sing it for you once and then we will break it down a little bit, okay? Here's how it sounds. Okay, so that's the song. Super simple, super beautiful. Um, let's break it down phrase by phrase, make sure we have the melody. Um, we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to do a call and response. So echo me, okay? My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Good. Um, that dip, dip, and swing is pretty low, so just make sure you're going low enough on that, okay? Let's do the second verse. Dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver. Dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver. Swift as the wild goose flies. And swing. Good. Okay. Let's do the whole thing all together. All right. Here we go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. song for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is that we, uh, my family, you know, kayaks and canoes uh, a normal amount. And uh, the dip, dip and the swing part is so funny to me because I am not actually a very good canoe paddler. I have a tendency to go way out and to use a lot of my arms. My arms get very tired um, very quickly. Fun fact, if you're canoeing, you're actually supposed to mainly pull yourself. And that means that most of the power is coming from your torso. You don't get tired as quickly. Um, so dip, dip, and swing comes back. And so it's a good reminder for me. That's one thing. Um, but I also love this song because the dipping makes me think that um, at least two people are in this canoe. That's what it makes me feel like. Because if you're dipping, you're usually... Um, trying to sync up with someone else's stroke. And so this song, even though it says my paddle and my canoe and whatever, um, it really reminds me because of that dip dip, like maybe you're trying to make sure that you're going at exactly the right time and you're with somebody else. Um, and I love that. It's so fun when you can get synced up when you're doing anything with someone, including paddling a canoe. Okay, now this song is awesome for a couple of reasons. Um, one of the biggest things that feels distinctive about this song is its use of a little thing called syncopation. 
that's spelled this way, syncopation. And syncopation in music is um, whenever you have a strong beat going and then you do something in the music that makes you feel like the weak beat is emphasized instead of the strong one. So usually in music, we have the strong beats emphasized, the steady beat, right? Um, in a song that's in 4-4, four, four, like this one is, four quarter notes in a measure, um, you would have something like two, three, four. I'm an acorn small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground, okay? In, um, in that song, the strong beats are, are emphasized very well, okay? Each beat has um, a new note that's hitting on it in the words. I'm an acorn small and round. And each beat has the beginning of a word. That's another big thing. Um, and the important words are on the strong beats, okay? My paddle's keen and bright. That phrase immediately throws us off. This is what it looks like. Ti-ta, ti 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 ta Count this with me. One, two, ready. <gasps> ti-ta, ti 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 ta One more time. Ti-ta, ti 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 ta My paddle's keen and bright. Sing it with me. My paddle's keen and bright. Okay, and this happens throughout the whole song, but if we look at this first measure, we'll get the rest of the song. The reason that that feels so different is because of where the second beat is falling. Okay, so the first beat falls on the start of the song. My, right? That makes sense, it's on this eighth note here. The second beat, where is it? Let's figure that out. So the second beat um, is somewhere in here. This quarter note, we remember, equals two eighth notes, right? That equals two eighth notes. So we have an eighth note starting the song. We need another eighth note to complete the beat. Where is that eighth note? It's in the quarter note, right? It's this one right here, the first eighth note. That ties up with this guy to make our first whole beat. Only problem is, we're not going, my paddle's keen and bright, right? We're singing over that second beat. And so our ear doesn't really hear where it is. That's what gives us this feeling of syncopation, of like kind of tripping a little bit, right? Everything else lines up in this measure. This eighth note partners up with this one, and that becomes a beat together, and then we have three and four, just normal. But this initial ti ta ti, ti ta ti, with the beat, the second beat hidden in this quarter note, is what makes this song syncopated and what makes it feel so cool. You'll notice that the, the text setting in this emphasizes um, the, some of the unimportant syllables in words. For example, uh, flashing and follow. When we say those words naturally, we emphasize the first syllable, right? Flashing, follow. But in this song, just to make sure you really feel that syncopation, we put the weak syllable on the stronger beat. So, flashing and follow, flashing, follow. We emphasize things that are not usually emphasized to make sure that we feel that syncopation. Okay, now I want you to either tap on your lap or get whatever percussion you have. <clears throat> and we're going to sing this song through tapping the rhythm of the words, okay? So not doing the steady beat, but instead doing my paddle's keen and bright all the way through, okay? Here we go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver, follow the wild goose light, dip, dip, and swing, dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver, swift as the wild goose flies, dip, dip, and swing. Good. Now, 
the tricky part and also the fun part. Let's go back to doing a steady beat together. This time we are going to um, emphasize the syncopation. So in your voice, I want you to really highlight those weird feeling beats. For example, my paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Got it? Accent those beats. Here we go, all the way through it together. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver. Swift as the wild goose flies, dip, dip, and swing. Good. Okay. Awesome job. Um, syncopation can look a lot of different ways. This is just one example, but you can emphasize beats by making them louder, by accenting them the way that we just did. Um, you can, like I said, set off syllables of words if you're using words. Um, whatever you can do to make your listener or us, if we're singing, feel like you just oh got a little bit of a, a shock, a little bit of a jolt. Um, that is syncopation. All right, do you guys want to sing this one more time without the weird accents? I do. I love this song. Here we go. Ready? My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Awesome. Okay, great job, you guys. Um, maybe you can teach this to someone. I don't know. It's a simple song to latch on to. So if you have little siblings at home, maybe they'd like it. Um, I can't wait to see you guys on Zoom. And thank you for playing and for singing with me. Bye. See you later.